The history of the Catholic Church reads like the annals of a global crime concern. This church gave the world the Inquisition, incestuous and murderous popes, religious warfare, pedophiliac sex scandals, idolatry, money laundering scandals, and the gnawing guilt that comes from embracing life-defying ideals. The Catholic Church's intentional lack of transparency, murky dealings, and refusal to be held accountable for the actions of its adherents and officials have rendered the Catholic Church complicit in the most horrendous events of the past two millennia. It might well meet the criteria for a criminal organization set forth in the London Charter and endorsed and implemented in the Nuremberg Trials. At the modicum of justice, it has been accused of anything and everything from collaborating with the Nazi regime and helping war criminals flee justice, to instigating and perpetrating the more insidious forms of anti-Semitism. The Church's previous head, Pope Benedict XVI, former chief of the current-day intolerant incarnation of the infamous Inquisition, was a member of the Nazi youth movement. When he had joined in 1939, only one-third of Germany's youth belonged to the Hitler Jugend, although membership of Aryan youth was theoretically compulsory by law. The German Pope added insult to injury by reinstating patently anti-Semitic bishops excommunicated by his predecessor. But his predecessor, on his part, actively spread AIDS through the, through the developing world by prohibiting the use of contraceptives, no saint either. Hence the Da Vinci Code and a slew of other anti-Catholic tomes and tracts. This genre thrives on the widespread conviction that there is nothing that the Catholic Church will refrain from doing or find too abhorrent or heinous in order to further its earthly wealth and might. Alas, history of this time is on the side of conspiracy theories. They are right.